Namaste. Today is January 1st, 2018. Happy New Year. I am Drew, and this is Fat Guy Yoga. As you can tell, I'm not wearing my yoga gear. I'm at work right now. This is the first video of 2018. I read a lot of the comments on some of the videos I've posted previously and people are saying, well, I can't do this pose because I don't have enough strength in such and such a joint like your elbows or your knees or whatever. And I was thinking, well, how can I transform that into a way that they can get more strength in their joints and such? So I came up with a couple different ways that people can do that. So the first, a lot of us fat guys, we have jobs where we have to stand up the entire time that we're doing if we're in a factory job or if we're customer service or like cashiering or whatever. So there are some pretty simple things that you can do when you're just standing there that you can uh, use to strengthen your body. For example, you see I'm standing on both of my feet, right? So let's say I'm type, type, typing along and I can't get that much farther away from the camera. Oh, you can see I'm slimming down a little bit. I'm just a little bit slimmer than I was before. I actually got complimented on it tonight before I came to work. Like, oh, are you losing weight? I said, well, I'm trying. So we're all trying, right? It feels good to get those little, little notices. Um, anyway. So let's say, you know, I'm doing my cashiering, cashiering, cashiering. While you're cashiering, your first first thing you can do, just raise one of your legs. So raise it up, don't you don't have to like flip it up here or anything like that. Just just lift it up as high as you can go and just continue doing your thing. You know, do 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 hold it for as long as you can. If you can only do ten seconds at a time, only do ten seconds at a time. You put it down and raise your other leg. Doing the things, doing the things, and just go back and forth. 10 seconds, 20 seconds, a minute. If you can do a minute, do a minute. Now that will help strengthen your stabilizing muscles in your knees, like where your tendons and muscles around your knees. See, I have really bad knees, so anything that I can do to make my knees feel better. I'm gonna do it, and the best way to do that is to strengthen everything around the knees so the knees have support. So, that's the first thing, is just the standing and raise. So let's do this now, since, you're, since I've got you a captive audience. Let's do this now, let's do 10 seconds on each side, let's do three sets of each, all right, ready? So we're gonna start with the left leg. My, le my left leg is further away from you guys. So go raise it, and just count one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just set it back down. Don't let it flop. Because if you just suddenly release, it will more than likely cause more harm than good. Now I'm going to stand facing you this time for this one. Because I need you to see that we're not overdoing the balance. You're not you're not overcompensating too much. I mean, there's gonna be a little bit of shifting to your other leg, but try to keep that minimal. Try to keep try to keep your knees about the same place as they are. There's gonna be a little bit of raising, but the closer you can keep your knees together while you're doing your typing or whatever you're doing, the better. So let's go right knee. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, put it back down. Another thing to notice, to watch out for, is don't let your knees lock, because that doesn't strengthen them, that just puts the joints into a place where they can't move or anything, doesn't strengthen anything. Well, it doesn't strengthen the thing you're trying to strengthen. So try to keep your, try to keep your standing leg a little bit bent, a little bit relaxed. So let's go back to Left, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
Also, try not to like oh, do all the, the flappy arms and things. Just do what you're regularly doing. If you need to lean on your cashier a little bit, do that. You know, press down as you're going. Do your right side one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. See, I was a little too much over to my left side. I'm not sure how you're going to see this. Right now, I'm actually looking at it backwards. I have the fat guy yoga thing covering where my um, where the company logo is of the shirt that I'm wearing. I'm trying to avoid getting in trouble. Um, I probably shouldn't be doing this at work, to be truthful. But it's New Year's. I don't think anyone's going to show up. Um, let's go back to the left. So remember to have your right leg a little bent. Lift the left. There you go. I think I did it this right, right this time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. Now one more. Back to the right. Keep your left knee a little bent. And raise it. See, I, I need to do a little more on the left side. It needs a little more shifting. That might be something you notice on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, oh, oh, fell on. and ten. All right, awesome. Cool. So that's one way we can do it. The next way is very similar. I'm going to turn to the side again. Now, instead of just standing and holding for so long, you can also do repetitions. Now this, now this is one of the weak areas I have on my body, is, so we've got these big ass thighs. Look at these thighs, they're huge. Because we've gotta carry our weight around as we go around, right? But we often forget about the backs of the thighs. This muscle down here, which I don't know the name of, which I'll probably flash on the screen for you when I get home, because I'm gonna look it up and be like, this is the muscle. Um, we miss a lot of times when you're working out of these muscles back here. So, the way we're going to do that is we're going to do the exact same movement. Not, we're not going to lock our knees. We're going to keep those bent, tense, ready. And we're going to lift the leg. And uh, let's, do, let's do reps of 10. Let's do three reps of 10 on each side. So, we're going to do something like this. Just go start on the right side. Now this time we might need to go a little bit more on the opposite side. If that needs to happen, that needs to happen. We, we're not trying to kill ourselves here. If you need to put your hands on something, like I'm going to put my hand on this here, that's fine. So ready? We're going to do the right side first. We're going to do 10 reps. Ready? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Now immediately go to the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm trying to watch myself. If you have to lean forward, that's all right. We're trying to work these. We're not necessarily trying to improve our posture, although that will be coming soon. Back to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Back to the left. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One more on the right. Now they're starting to get tight. Can you feel them? Back to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. 
to the left one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. That last one was kind of difficult, even for me. So I have a lot of work to do on the backs of my legs. So the last exercise we're going to do for this video is, oh, I need some help for my, my lovely set of keys. So let's say you're doing whatever you're doing and oops, you dropped the thing, whatever the thing is. Now, how many of you do this move? Uh, you just lean down, you let your body go in the fulcrum. You just lean down. And while yes, that is almost a yoga pose, that doesn't really help us in any respect. It just, it lets gravity do all the work. And while we're not trying to fight gravity necessarily, we're trying to help ourselves build up. So, how can you change this? Oh, well, let's see. Oh, I dropped the thing. You look down at the thing, you put your legs on either side of it, and you do a simple crouch. You just crouch down, and you pick it up. You don't drop things on purpose, but you take any opportunity you can to, if you've dropped something, if you need to pick something up. It's the same philosophy as lifting with your legs. Instead of this time, you're letting yourself go down with your legs and you're picking up the thing. Now this isn't a repetition so much as it's something you have to kind of train your body to do again. See when you're a kid or if you're in martial arts or anything you already know to crouch instead of leaning. So it, it's gonna be it's gonna be difficult. It's difficult for me still because I just realized, like, why am I doing it like this? It's not helping my body at all. I have to start doing the crouch. So when I'm going and doing my my job, I have a lot of instances where I am leaning, and I'm like, why am I leaning? Why am I not just lowering my level so much? You, sometimes you don't have to go all the way down here. Sometimes you have to go down here. Sometimes you're not here. Sometimes all the way to the floor. But at any rate, it's the whole lowering your level instead of being a crane, so to speak. Now, I know some of us are big as cranes, but that doesn't mean we have to act like it. So, thank you all for coming. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments section. I will do my best to address everything. So. Thank you for stopping by, uh, Happy New Year, and Namaste.